Okay, so welcome back. That's a first. It kicked off. So I am going to start this live feed again. Um, I have to once again check to make sure that everything is connected. And so that'll just take a moment. So please bear with me as the system connects. And okay, so everything's working well. Thank you so much for joining me. <clears throat> so my name is Master Paul Fletcher. And it is my greatest honor to be here today serving you. The Facebook live stream has been a wonderful way to reach out to you to tell you more about Dr. and Master Shah. Uh, I am a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Shah. As a worldwide representative, I have a huge honor to offer tremendous blessings and services to those that connect to me. Uh, I'll give you an example. <clears throat> As we are waiting for other people to come on the line, this might only be seen actually by the people that tune in for the very first time. So yesterday, I had one of my clients from about three or four years ago contact me. <clears throat> and this client uh, contacted me about the Soulmate uh, program that I offered. It's called the Soulmate Attraction System. At that time, I... Uh, I just knew she needed blessings. That's, that's what I knew for sure. Because this uh, beautiful soul was suffering in a very, very unpleasant way. She had uh, what would be called by our medical industry depression, uh, potential bipolar. She had a lot of people um, uh, wanting to help her but not knowing how. She did not have a date for seven years. She was a young woman, not certainly unattractive. And yet she had a lot of things going on. <clears throat> and she was hurting. And so I turned on my healing transmissions, including the, the Guan Yin chant, and I asked all the blessings to go to her as whatever was most appropriate. And <clears throat> she had a miracle, uh, no question about it. 45 minutes later, she was in the chair. She looked like a limp noodle. Um, she was vibrating. She, in her words, she was vibrating like a, like a person sitting on champagne. Prior to that, when I connected with her initially, her mouth was moving about 100 miles an hour. She, and she was very hyper and very you know, frantic, uh, somewhere between anxiety and depression. <clears throat> and so after the blessing, she was just jello. The thing that was interesting about that, that blessing was that um, it transformed her. I saw her, talked to her the next day, I saw her uh, the next week, I saw her about three months later, and she had met a beautiful soul. They have had a long-term relationship, about three or four years now. I just recently uh, had a, a session with her again. And this beautiful soul was once again in a place where things were a bit mixed up for her. And that's because she did not complete my soulmate attraction system, that's one variable, but <clears throat> Now, as a divine channel of Dr. and Master Shah, my spiritual channels are, are substantially more open. And I was able to, to see where the blockages were. I was able to hear, ask heaven, where are the blockages for this, this beautiful soul now? Uh, and the thing that was amazing about this was that with the power that I've currently received from Dr. Master Shah, the ability to transmit healing, this woman had an, an, another metamorphosis. I saw someone going from frantic and anxiety to um, happiness. After she received a blessing for her message center, she received the Jindan Healing and Transmission System, her, her face glowed, she was smiling. She had a lot of pain in her shoulders, middle back, lower back, it was just, it was, and it was from her carrying all these emotions. <clears throat> and when I, um, prior to doing the healing and transmission system for her message center, which I knew where all the blockages were, I did a soul operation for her back. Now I gotta tell you guys, I've done maybe four or five hundred soul operations, all with measurable success. Very, f I, I can't think of any actually that didn't have measurable success. When I worked on her, no success. I was shocked. And so then I went ahead and, and, and heaven told me the blockages in her back are related to the blockages in her heart center because she's hold on to so much stuff in here. <clears throat> so I offered a blessing 
to clear the blockages in the message center. New message center came in, light wall protection to keep the darkness out. And this woman was glowing afterwards. She was also still vibrating. <clears throat> but curiously enough, all of her back pain, upper, middle, lower back, dissipated. It was about f probably 40% left immediately after the blessing. And as we talked and walked for five minutes, um, it was gone. It was just gone. That's the power of divine. That's that's who my teacher, Dr. Master Shah, is, and that's how blessed I am to receive these authorities and abilities to offer this blessing to her. So thanks for the opportunity to share that as all of you have joined. I want to back this up a little bit and say hello. Thank you, Kristen, for joining me. Thank you for sharing me, adding me to the Barbados group. Thank you, Vanessa, for joining me. Uh, thank you, Cat Cat. Um, Esther, hope you're watching. I, yeah, she just joined us. Welcome, Esther. Uh, and then Monica, you know what happened, Monica, was I started it, started about 20 seconds, and then it kicked me off. So I had to start again. <laughs> but I'm so grateful that you're all here. Thank you so much for this opportunity to serve you. Every day when I do this, on Monday through Friday, I ask, what is the focus of today? And because I've been working with a couple of different clients on soulmate-related issues, I'm discovering that one of the core variables is... Uh, Negative mindsets, it's actually pretty, pretty strong. Negativity, negative mindsets, uh, not so much negative attitudes, although there are some, but some of the mindsets are very deep-seated. So I wanted to make that the core of our discussion today, the core of teachings and blessings that I'll be offering, and the core of some of the soul readings. So if you have a specific negative mindset that you're comfortable sharing, please uh, make a note on it and we can do a soul reading as to um, uh, the source you might know for example is your mother and father you can you can state the source but there's a deeper reason one of the key foundational teachings of soul and soul healing is that everything has a soul and that means that negative mindset has a soul one of the other foundational teachings that my teacher, Master Shah, teaches is that every soul's purpose is to serve. So how is it that a negative mindset is serving us? It seems to just be driving us crazy. How is it that it's serving us? That's what we're going to discover today. Every soul can serve us, and we want to uh, become friends with those and transform them, allow them to serve us. So thank you everyone for joining us. Eva joined, Shelly. Hi, Shelly. Loveness. Thank you for joining, Loveness. Leanne Lackey. Uh, wonderful to have you join us. Thank you. And we have a um, ah, good question from Kristen. Uh, she's talking about strugg struggling with not being good enough. Okay. Um, I see Monica saying, perhaps I need to exercise to lose weight. Uh, Monica, restate that in the form of a negative mindset, okay? <clears throat> in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and do a, um, a, uh, a soul reading for Kristen. So let's find out what's going on. To the soul of Kristen, Kristen's heaven teams, guides, angels, and saints. We love you, honor you, respect you, bow down to you as appropriate. Could you please be present? To the soul of Kristen's question about struggling and not being good enough, the soul of the source of this mindset or um, um, attitude or belief, the source of the uh, purpose and value of this mindset, attitude, and belief, um, what its intention is if it is not resolved, and what can be done to resolve it. Uh, collectively, could you please come together and choose a spokesperson, offer uh, this answer, bra my mouth. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, if you're new to this, what I do is I, I, I chant for just a moment or two to clear the channels and then I share the answers. <coughs> Ha This is the mindset that is with Kristen at this time. I represent a belief 
of not being good enough. My service is not just to this one Kristen. It is to all those souls who have separated themselves from the divine. Each soul, including me, originates from the heart of the divine. My service is to assist all of those who carry separation to remind them. Many fail to appreciate the value that I bring. All they need to do is acknowledge me. I too want to serve others. Why could you not see me? Say, oh, thank you. Thank you for showing me that in this moment my heart and my mind are separate from my beloved Creator. Thank you for helping me to remember. I appreciate you showing me. I know that the Divine loves me unconditionally, but I have forgotten that. You have come to remind me that I am worthy of the Divine's love. Therefore, I am worthy. This is a small teaching, but one that virtually everyone that watches can appreciate. Apply this wisdom to every piece that shows up, and you will discern the value of my brethren negative thoughts. How? 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, um, <laughs> I can only imagine for some people that attend, they probably have difficulty even um, comprehending that anything other than a human or maybe animals have a soul. One of the foundational teachings that Dr. and Master Shah has is that everyone and everything has a soul. Um, why is that important to understand? Because, guys, all thoughts have a soul. All negativity, all positivity, everything is serving because everything is under our Creator. All energy and all matter has a soul. And before the automobile is formed, it was a thought. Um, there are possibilities. Possibilities are thoughts. Everything is from Creator, therefore everything has a soul. And something I did not know until my teacher came forth and he said, every soul's purpose is to serve. Wow! I mean, that one, I've been sitting with it for a long time, and you start to incorporate it in your life. How is this very unpleasant experience I've had serving me? You start to look at things from a different perspective, and it takes you out of the stuckedness that you might be in in that moment. This soul came forth, and it had a voice. <clears throat> when I do a soul reading, you might have noticed, I ask the souls of all those who have come, to join. I ask the souls of possibilities, the souls of the highest and best answers, the souls of whatever souls might be able to assist with the best answer. And then I wait. And whichever soul has the highest frequency, the highest intention, comes through. And I speak that information. Because I've been practicing this for a while, I probably do it a little bit smoother than other masters. Uh, but I'm very grateful that I was given that knowledge Master Shah shared about everything as a soul. It's allowed me to start connecting to all those souls and sharing their perspectives. So hopefully that one served you. <clears throat> so uh, welcome Irma, welcome Yvonne, thanks for joining. Let me back up a little bit here, see if Monica, I don't see a restatement on that Monica. Okay, I cannot lose weight unless I do exercise. Okay, I can work with that question. So this is a negative mindset. I cannot lose weight until I do exercise. That is the negative mindset. Let's do a soul reading on where it came from, how it's serving you, and what we can do about it, what the soul world recommends. <clears throat> do the soul of Monica, the soul of this mindset. I cannot lose weight unless I exercise. The soul of the source of it, the soul of the highest and best solution for transforming it. Could you please be present? The soul of the uh, intention of this mindset. Uh, 
negative and positive intention, could you please be present? And um, any solutions that is, would best serve Monica's soul journey, could you please uh, be present? Please collectively choose a spokesperson, offer this information for all those on the line to hear. Thank you. Hey la 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 ya hey ya yo. Hey ya ya. <laughs> this is going to be really interesting, Monica. <laughs> this is your soul. And this is what she has to say. My dear Monica, I, I am the one that gave you this thought. I kind of like being a little plump. It reflects my connectedness to the soul world. You know, Master Shah says that a plump belly is a Buddha belly, if you will. I kind of like it. I tell you this so that you understand. We are not products of this physical world. We are souls. We have control. Our mind can create whatever we want. I could tell you, and you could believe, that by eating toast 12 times a day, you will lose all the weight you want to lose. And if you believe it, it will happen. I could tell you that by riding a bicycle 10 miles a day, your face, your skin, everything will become younger. And if you believed it, it would happen. I could tell you to put Dijon mustard on the back of your hand, and it would make the black dots go away. And if you believed it, it would work. The point is, don't do that with the mustard. The point is, what you believe is what will come to truth. I gave you this message so that you have an opportunity to remember this wisdom. You can lose weight should you desire to. I am not going to lose my spiritual weight if you lose your physical weight. You simply have to choose in each moment with whatever you are doing. Today, I am working on the computer. Tell yourself, as I type on the computer, with each time I press a key, I am burning 100 calories and smile. Da -dink, da -dink, da -dink, da -dink, da -dink. This kind of mentality shifts. It tells your body what to do. It tells the soul world how to accomplish it. If you believe it, it will happen. This is the greater and deeper teachings. I am honored to share. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Ha, <laughs> did not expect that answer. That was quite interesting to hear from your soul. Thank you, Monica, for that question. <laughs> okay, let me scroll down here. Uh, Esther, my concern is that I always have a problem in finding a job. Okay. <clears throat> and then Leanne, I'll get to your question next. To the soul of Esther, Esther's Heaven's Teams, Guides, Angels, and Saints. The soul of this question, I always have problems in finding a job. The soul of Esther's Heaven's Teams, the soul of all the jobs, all of the relationships that Esther has had with those jobs, all of the mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs that Esther has held around getting a job, getting a good job, getting a job that honors her, getting a job that pays her well, all of those mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs, could you please be present? To the soul of why, when she gets a job, she is unable to maintain it, or why she changes her mind and leaves that job. Because all of these I'm hearing are present. Please come. Uh, and dear the soul of any karmic or karmic implications associated with this question, please be present. Please offer for our beloved Esther the answer that can assist her with this question. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, how <coughs> this is Yan Wan Ye. I have come to share 
sum of the karmic implications of this one's record in heaven that has impacted her ability to receive financial remuneration for her services. This one and a little bit of her ancestors has in previous time made choices that were quite selfish. These choices included times as a storekeeper in which there was hedging of the prices on both sides of the fence in the purchase and in the sale. There was activity that would be called today illegal towards competitors. In another lifetime, <coughs> when you were in the grain trading business, <coughs> you would offer about one-tenth of the value of what the grains were worth to those poor farmers because you were the only one that was willing to go the distance in the fields to pick up their product. Had they had the ability to even to take it to town, they could have gotten quite a bit more. But it was such that you saw the need and fulfilled it. It would have been not difficult to pay them a fair wage as they did all of the labor, but you in this lifetime took a great deal of that profit. You had a very wealthy life in this lifetime and was not a sharing person, should we say. These were only two of the lifetimes in which this has followed you. I encourage you to ask for forgiveness <coughs> for this in all times that you or your ancestors have made choices of this nature. I see your heart today. I know your heart is not the heart of those in those times. That is why you have this heart today because you know better, you have learned your lessons, but there are some that do not agree. So deeply do authentic forgiveness. When you go <coughs> to do a job, call forth the souls of all those that you will be interviewing with, all those that you will be working with. Ask forgiveness for this or any time you may have harmed them. Offer forgiveness for this or any time they may have harmed you. Do this several times before the job possibilities begin. If you do not know which job you want, <clears throat> do this with all of them. You will find that any degree of consistency with this will serve you well. Use any of the calligraphies from Master Shah's books to assist you in the clearing of the Shen Qi Jing blockages. You have a possibility to clear those debts in this lifetime if you are good and honorable with the financial blessings you receive. This is Yen Wan Ye. I am happy to serve in this way. Hao, hao, hao. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Yen Wan Ye. Yen Wan Ye, I bow down to him. He is he's one of my Sherfus. Uh, he, it's actually quite, <laughs> quite daunting, you know. He's the keeper of the records in heaven, so he knows everything. He knows everything I think. He knows every, every, all the good stuff, all the bad stuff I do. Even as a master, lots of perfection to improve upon. <clears throat> and when, when he, when he was assigned to be a shurfu, because I did, there was a choice. There were several masters that showed up, and uh, he was the one who was chosen. I was like, oh no, I've got the guy that watches everything as one of the people that shurfus. So I have to be a really good boy. Anyway, thank you all. <coughs> so let me move on. Uh, Leanne Lackey, <coughs> excuse me. I have kidney, I'm sorry about the horse throat, guys. I hope it doesn't hurt your ears too much. 
I have kidney failure, uh, died three times and came back. Why? Okay, let's find out. Dear the soul of Leanne Lackey, dear Yen Monye, could you please open her records? The soul of this question, I had kidney failure, died three times and came back. The question is why? Dear uh, Leanne's Heaven's Teams, Guides, Angels, and Saints, her soul. Uh, as appropriate, <coughs> please offer Leanne their deeper and higher wisdom as to this question. Thank you. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh. For our dear Leanne, each of these near deaths were purposeful. They were karma cleansing. You are a spiritual mother in many, many ways. <coughs> you have still much mothering to do. These each occurred, and if you look back, you will see that you leveled up. You went through deep purification deep questioning, both of God, your purpose, life, your spiritual teachings and beliefs, even of your marriage. You found much deeper connection in every case from these experiences. In each uh, near-death experience, <coughs> huge karma was released. Uh, that was intentional. Your soul in heaven did tremendous tremendous uh, consultation with all those souls that had been harmed, that were to bring this suffering to you. And with each time, there was layers released. For you, it is important to pay attention to your heart because it is the opposite fire. And you want to ensure that you have not put too much stress on it. There is no urgency in this, <clears throat> but do pay attention. Your purpose, now that you are present and aware, is to continue serving as many souls as possible. You have been blessed with some of the highest wisdom that has reached the planet today. You have a unique ability to uh, touch people's hearts when you communicate. People trust you. People love you. That is why you have been spared, so to speak, and that is why we use the terminology spiritual mother. You want to use this, these attributes that you have been endowed with to serve as many souls as possible. Take your wisdom, your soul song of love, peace, and harmony to the church, to the children. Open their hearts and souls to serve others. This is your service. This is how you can say thank you to heaven for saving your life. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I did not receive who that was. I, was, I kept asking, but I did not receive an answer <coughs> as to who that was. So I, sorry about that. Okay. Vanessa, let's see if anybody else came in so I can say hello. <coughs> okay. Hi, Kule, welcome. Okay, Master Paul, I'm going to start a new job at the end of this week, and I'm scared. I'm scared that people at this new company won't like me. I know I'm bringing an old experience into this new one. I see more. <coughs> okay. And by the way, everybody who has received a soul reading, please respond. I have to cover up this mic and turn my mouth. Okay, maybe that's a little better for a little while. I again, apologize. Uh, yeah, please, please, um, any, any part of the soul readings that resonated with you, any part of it that you felt brought value to you, uh, make sure and, and, and comment, okay? Um, and just as a side note, uh, if anybody's interested in individual soul readings, then just contact me later. I have a half hour, an hour programs. Okay. I'm going to reread yours, Vanessa. Okay. To the soul of Vanessa, Vanessa's questions, Vanessa's fears, concerns around uh, coming into this new job and being seen and accepted and not judged, um, all of the 
previous negative mindsets, negative experiences, negative memories from the previous job, could you please be present to the soul of highest, best, most uh, uh, profound way to transform this perspective and this fear so that when she enters this job, she has the highest propensity of success, friendship, uh, and uh, uh, acceptance. Could you all please be present, offer any guidance, wisdom, and insights for our beloved Vanessa? I can already tell Vanessa that your soul's come to talk, so let me tune in with her and see what she has to say. My dear Vanessa, you might not know, but in this previous job, both you and I were involved in the transition from that to where you are headed to. In that job, there was judgment. There was a lack of acceptance of who you are and what you stand for. There was a great deal of karma from a variety of experiences. I put into motion about how you can open your mind to a new job, but your fear did not allow you to have it. So I had no choice but to instill uh, predisposing actions that have led to this departure. Part of this was to grow your strength. You need to learn that you are very worthy, that you are uh, very talented, and that you bring great value to an organization. Please listen to this again. You bring great value to an organization. You do not value yourself the way I know and the way you should. And this lack of self-esteem and value kept you and the way you can serve others to be recognized. My suggestion to you in this new job is to love everybody, to judge nobody, to be open to how others do things, to even do it their way, and with time offer the possibility of doing it a way that you are sure would be better. To know that, of course, none of them know who you are, and they do not know your predisposed lack of self-worth. So, so ask your saints teams to go and call for their souls in this position, your boss and all those, and do forgiveness practice with them for this or any lifetime that you or your ancestors have brought any form of harm or suffering to them. Play love, peace, and harmony while you are at work on the volume one. It will send out an energy field into the room and you will never have a problem if you do. Simply listen to that person sharing. Send them unconditional love. They will transform to be your best friend. This is my suggestion to you. Be grateful this job shift will serve you in a way that you cannot see right now. I am excited for you. How? So that was your soul's message to you. Uh, wonderful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <coughs> okay. So Eva, I saw your question. I'll, I'll answer it in a moment. <clears throat> Yvonne, um, any comments from the soul world to me? Anything welcome? Okay. Dear the soul world, dear Yvonne's heaven teams, guides, angels, and saints, dear our spiritual teacher, Father Master Shah, any guidance for our beloved Yvonne at this time? Hey, uh, you, yeah, hey, uh, yeah, yeah. For our dear Yvonne, your service, your desire to serve is greatly seen and appreciated. 
our guidance for you today is to slow down a bit and focus a bit more on organization. Organization of your thoughts, of your time, organization of your refrigerator. Every little thing that receives a bit more attention lovingly will bring a value to your life. Right now, your mind tends to run a bit from here to there and back to here and there and then back to here and there. This uh, simple form of conscious, loving organization being present in that moment for what you're doing at that time will serve you well if you maintain that degree of conscious presentness with what you are doing then this can be sustained and that will allow you to better receive heaven's guidance one of the things you've been asking for for a while it has been coming in but you have not been hearing it the way you desire because of this lack of uh, organization on multiple levels this is our message to you today how 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 thank you thank you thank you Okay, so now, Eva, I will answer your question regarding your son. So this is someone on your Heavens team, Eva. Our dear Eva, all of us on your Heavens team bow down to you for your incredible grace, dexterity, heart, compassion, and unconditional service for your son. You have more than made up for the lifetimes that this incarnation has brought about the conditions you are in. Your son, because he has grown to be needing of you, has adopted a selfishness. This has created a expectation, an expectation that you would continue to offer all that you have, even in the face of your responsibilities. It is much like a wailing child that, when told no, wails anyway because he thinks he will get his way. It is a difficult position at best. What we would recommend is continued heart soothing for this one. Da I placed on his body, uh, love, peace, and harmony in his ear or close to it. Um, calling forth his soul as you do each time you do any practice. Your service is always being documented and registered and this will help to quell like a child sucking a thumb any of those separation anxieties that are occurring. This is our message to you on this day. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. So thank you Eva for that question. Um, okay, Vanessa, beautiful message from Monica's soul. Eva, Master Paul, okay, I gave you that guidance, thank you. Monica, oh my gosh, that was so cute from my soul to say that about, <laughs> about Plump. <laughs> yeah, I agree, that was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, your, your soul was, was, was quite, uh, quite fun. Uh, Kule, aloha Master Paul, so nice to connect with you again. Love, love, big hugs. Love you too, Kule. Hopefully we'll see you over here soon. And loveness, mindsets around the relationship with CC that I love dearly, but not sure what's happening in it. Okay, that's pretty vague. Let's see what we can get from that. Through the soul of loveness, through the soul of the relationship with CC, the soul of any of the mindsets that she is holding on to around that relationship. Ah, I'm getting messages now. Okay. 
could you please present yourself so that the most appropriate and beneficial response can be offered to loveness at this time. How? My dear loveness, I know that you love me. You know that I love you. I know that you do not pressure me to secure this relationship more than it already is. But I know that you want that sense of security on a higher level. I am still going through some processes that tr really don't have anything to do with our relationship, our love, or our commitment to each other. It is more about being in the moment, enjoying it, and not wanting to sour it. I have witnessed others that have made commitments and things have not worked out as well. And so I am allowing time to serve me, to serve us. Please be patient and know that all will work out. I love you. This is the soul of your significant other. How? How, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'm really curious on that one, Loveness. I really, I just uh, uh, accepted a friendship with you two days ago. I have no idea you, your history, your love life, anything. I have no idea the accuracy of this reading. Um, it sounded like what I received was there was not a, not a, uh, uh, a marriage, that that's something that you're wanting, something towards that end. And I'd be curious if that's accurate. If it's not, I'm okay. So, you know, say that's inaccurate. Um, but to me, if it is accurate, it's, it's, it's always interesting how the soul world works, how they can give me that information uh, and it be accurate. So please share. Okay. Uh, Dove. Aloha, Master Paul. Wonderful to be here with you. Thank you so much, Dove. Love you, love you, love you. Uh, Kuale. Dear Master Paul, may I ask a couple of questions? What could I do to be in more harmony financially with MD and CR. Okay. <clears throat> Let's find out. <sighs> to the soul of Kuale, the soul of the financial relationship between her, MD, and CR. The soul of her question, what can I do? to be in more harmony financially with these souls. Love you, honor you, appreciate you. Could you please offer our beloved Kuale whatever guidance is most needed, pertinent, and relevant for her to hear at this time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, la, 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 hey, ya, hey, yo, 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 hey, ya, ya. Hey, la, la, hey, ya, hey, ya, hey, ya, hey, yo. This is the soul of your finances. I am fraught with insecurity, unsuredness, and too many ways to be stretched. I am not honored, appreciated, loved, and respected. I have not been given the deepest gratitude that I wish to receive. I have uh, much to offer and 
I can communicate borrowing your mouth to those that you speak of if I was not in this kind of predicament. Please communicate with me better. I am here to serve you your entire life. Become best friends with me. Ask me how I can be served. Ask me how I can serve others. Ask me how I can be gained. Ask me how I can be organized. Ask me how and when is best to pay which thing. Ask me to communicate with the soul of these individuals so that I align to theirs. Keep in mind that they probably need to do something similar as this. So call forth their souls and communicate a similar wisdom to them. The stresses of today around finances <coughs> cause a separation on a soul level to the value that we offer humanity. Finances are an energy. We are a love just like everything else. But it is the miscommunication and misrepresentation around our soul that causes this separation. Reconnect to me. Call their souls forth. Teach them the same reconnection. Then when you communicate with them, ask them, what can I do that allows all of us to have a win-win scenario? They will come to realize that you are being proactive and cooperative, and that will bring about the results you desire. I am honored to share. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. So hopefully that uh, answer helps you cool. I kind of like that answer. It was, that, was, that was good. I'll have to use that one myself. <laughs> okay. Okay, so Monica, oh, Master Peter, your audience is growing. It's Master Paul, but thank you so much. I bow down to Master Peter, such a beautiful soul, incredible soul. I know it's exciting, 16, 17, 18, 19 people coming on. Great, keep growing, yay, more people I can serve. Okay, and Kule is asking for a soulmate reading, for a soulmate. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save that one for later. If I run out of things, Kule, I just gave you one, so we're going to keep moving unless I need additional material. Okay. Um, Le, Leanne Lackey, thank you, was her response. Hopefully that uh, served you well, Le, Leanne. <coughs> Katie, aloha, Master Paul and family just joining. Katie's so awesome. She joins, Crystal joins, and just kind of sit in the back and watch. Katie's taking care of her dogs. Crystal's taking care of her kids. Um, Kristen, dear Master Paul, may I also please ask, how can I grow my business, soul healing business and soul group, and how to clear any blockages? Okay. All right, we're running out of time. Let me take a quick look, see if anybody else, because I did answer one question for you, Kristen. I want to make sure I cover everybody. Um, Okay, so I'm going to answer Crystal's question and I'll try to do um, some, I'll ask the soul word for some efficient answers to try to help everybody out here. Um, Crystal, Master Paul, I'd like to have guidance for my business and finances. <coughs> think of your business, Crystal. Think of the name. Think of what you're doing. Think of the clients you're trying to reach. You're the soul of Crystal Valencia, Crystal's business, everything she's thinking about right now, the highest and best way Crystal can grow her business. Please offer guidance at this time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, la 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 la, hey, ya, ya, yo, 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 hey, hey, ya, ya, hey, ya, ya, hey, ya, hey, yo. For our dear Crystal, you actually harbor a negative mindset. It is about how you can do the business with your current responsibilities. You must allow for a mindset that says, my business grows in such a way that I am able to handle all of my responsibilities. You have the right pieces in place, but it is this mindset that is causing some restriction. So work with that mindset, uh, offer it love, 
offer a gratitude for its service to reminding you that you can change your perspective on how to allow for the growth of the business and that it will grow in such a way that it complements and allows you to take care of your family at the same time. Also, there are some karmic blockages with uh, the receiving higher amounts of financial blessings. So, um, this has to do also with negative mindsets that your that your uh, runs through your family, uh, you know about enough is enough, and so you want to call forth your soul of your ancestors as well and ask them to to do forgiveness practice with you, specific around holding on to those mindsets. Um, call forth the soul of unlimited abundance, the mindset of I can have as much abundance as I open my heart and mind to, and ask those souls to continue to serve you. Of course, turn on any of the treasures you have for financial blessings, uh, but but send love to those those souls that that have brought you the negative mindsets. Ask them to release. Ask for forgiveness. Call forth the positive ones you want and send them the love and the attention. The combination of those two should, should cause a ramp up in your business. How? Okay, dearest Master Paul, so great for the program to have heaven come down after the readings. It's a great honor. I'm getting ready to embark on a month-long journey off-island and we'll leave uh, with Mr. And leave Mr. Ping, leave Mr. Ping here. Oh, as my heart opens to the care options. Mr. Ping, while I am gone, a great fear is coming up. Something will happen to him. I know this is not really not really how I feel, but it's quite strong. Can you please, what is the root cause of this fear? Okay. Um, yeah, I just heard a word, but let's check. This is the soul of Mr. Ping. Mom, really, you know I'm, I, I'm a, I'm a, I can handle anything. You've seen me change so much. Your fear is yours. It's not mine. Don't worry about me. I'll be okay. Just make sure I have your picture and your smell with me. Call me on the phone so I can hear your voice. It's just good to help me to know that, you know, you're around. And um, I'll make new friends, so don't worry about me. Okay? How? So that was... <laughs> I've never heard Mr. Ping talk like that. It's quite unusual. So thank you for the opportunity to share. Uh, Monica, Master Paul, I'm also truly grateful for your reading. I was wonder reminded, if you believe it, it will happen. Countless bottoms, countless bottoms. Thank you, Monica. You are welcome. And, uh, dear Master Paul, I ask for uh, what I have been unable to secure a job for in the past weeks. Or what I have been unable to secure a job for in the past weeks. Okay, I'm going to try to understand that. <clears throat> you don't believe, Dove, that you can have the job you want. So you're settling is what's going on. You have more talent than you give yourself credit for. You need to bump up your resume, bump up your, your mindset, attitudes, beliefs, apply what you know, and go in and, and, and tell them that if they don't hire you, they're a fool. Now, obviously you wouldn't do it in that verbiage, but the message is stand up for yourself and you'll get the job that you deserve, not the job you're trying for. Soul World is not letting you have this, this uh, because it's lesser than you. It's not, it's not what you're good enough for. That's what I'm hearing. Um, Donna, welcome Donna, thank you for joining. Uh, Napasanan Mutia. Hey, should say Napasanan Fletcher. That's my wife. Why does it say Napasanan Mutia? Eva, thank you, Master Polly. Deeply appreciate your guidance and service. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you, love you. Uh, Yvonne, thank you so much, dear heaven, for your doing so right on my organization, multiple issues. Yes, I need to slow down and pay attention <laughs> to the nitty gritty. Great, thank you, heaven, for that reading. Esther, thank you so much, Master Paul. I got the feeling that my bad service in previous lives as well. As my ancestors, I do forgiveness practice most of the time. Now I know how to practice uh, more and feel sad for what I did, but also optimistic that I can reduce the bad karma. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's important to not get caught up in the negativity, if that's what it was, 
Um, you know, when we do these readings, sometimes it can be, you know, I can't believe I did that in a previous time, but that's not who you are now. It's very important to know that. So, so good for keeping the optimistic mindset. Uh, loveness, that was so accurate, Master Paul. Love you. Yay, thank you, Loveness. Thank you, Heaven, for the accuracy of that reading. Uh, by the way, the soul of CC is, is, uh, is a good soul. He did good. Okay, Ku'ale, uh, countless bow downs. I would do forgiveness practice immediately with the financial relationship soul and with these beloved ones. Lillian, yay, Lillian. Thank you, Master Paul. First time joining. What a beautiful show. Looking forward to sharing with friends. Yay, thank you. Yeah, I'm trying to, 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 to connect to Aussie audience as well. Um, and Katie, thank you so much, Master Paul in heaven. And Mr. Ping, I love you all so much. Haha, <laughs> that was so cute. And assert it was assertive of him, wasn't it? He just had an attitude. He just came right through and just, brah. So um, he definitely was clear about what he wanted to say. <laughs> Yeah, Mr. Ping is this, 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 this just most cute little dog. You go to Katie's page, you'll definitely see many pictures of him. That's her new love. Um, so we are at the end of the hour. It has been a wonderful and extraordinary hour. I am so honored to serve all of you. I want to make sure all of you know that I do soul readings for you or a loved one. Do half hour and one hour sessions. Half hour is good for about three or four questions. An hour is good for about um, about six to eight questions and it can cover any area of your life. The honor fee is 125 for an hour. And so um, it's something that I love to do. Uh, very often blockages can be revealed that um, suggestions could be made for to help transform those. You know, the way I look at it, why suffer? You know, why suffer in life when, um, when we can uh, clear them with the soul wisdom and the healings that we're receiving. This soul wisdom is, it transforms stuff faster than anything I've come across. And guys, I've been on this spiritual journey 30 years. I have tried just everything that you probably have and, and a whole bunch more. Nothing slices through our problems like soul. And so the more you know, the more you know, I encourage you to join again tomorrow, uh, two o'clock uh, Hawaii time, five o'clock Pacific time, eight o'clock Eastern time and 10 a.m. Australian time. I think I got that right, Lily, and let me know if I got that wrong. I think that's when it starts over there. <coughs> and um, tell your friends, you know, I'm here Monday through Friday. And in case of Australia, that's Tuesday through Saturday, <laughs> I think, or maybe it's Sunday. I think it's Sunday through Thursday. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, so I love you all. I thank you for joining me. Thank you for your sharing. Thank you for all that you do. Please let others know. I'd love to grow this audience so I can sh share more and serve more. Aloha. Love you, love you, love you. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.